This is Dale Matthews. My local First Friday newspaper has been publishing since 2006, and, as its name implies, you can find it at magazine shops, coffee shops, and 7-Eleven every month. It's also posted for you at badcounty.com. People really seem to love my cat Jack, who has his own commentary. This month, my cat Jack says, How do we stop things in Josephine County government that are illegal or just plain wrong? Well, we have an election coming up for commissioner. There's a whole spectrum of choices. Go way over the rainbow to find Mark Gatlin on the deep, dark red end. By comparison, he'll make Cheryl Walker look as innocent as Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, with Keith Heck as her little dog Toto. Arf! In the yellow part of the spectrum is Simon Hare. Too cowardly to stand up to the Wicked Witch. More often than not, he's one of the flying monkeys. There's Seligman, the green marijuana guy. He would actually slow down the bad guys. On the true blue side is Sandy Cassinelli, tanned, rested, and ready. She may just be the wizard we need. To read the rest of the March issue of First Friday, go to badcounty.com. There you'll find news stories from the Iron Boot series. If you criticize local government, you're automatically guilty of slander. Walker may allow citizens to talk about government officials in a positive manner. And, if government ignores you the first time, you can never bring up that subject again. The People's Newspaper is a double issue this month, so you will also find, as audience sits waiting, board whispers and quorum, and then takes a secret vote. Finally, there's an entire page dedicated to the text of the Oregon Open Public Meetings Law. Share this with your elected officials. We have. They just laugh. By the way, that's no exaggeration. We did hand it to every member of the board, and they just laughed. Why isn't that story in the Not-So-Daily Courier?